Answer the call of duty. I just have a quick story about, um, I have a cousin, I had a cousin named Jerry Serino who was a Marine in Vietnam. He took his own life when I was about 20 years old. And in his letter he wrote, Nam, never forget. Well, I just want to say, Jer, we didn't forget. And with that, I would like to please welcome Rick Palanzo, who will lead us with, in the pledge. He's the national chairman of the Grand Lodge Americanism Committee for the Benevolent and Protective Order of Elks of the United States of America. Welcome, Rick. Thank you, Mary, and she got it right, too, and that's, that's tough. If I can take one moment, please. I'd like to thank Mary for organizing today uh, to honor our veterans and the defenders of freedom. Mary, one person can make a difference, and you've made that difference. You're a patriot, and we thank you for that. I'd also like to thank my brother and sister Elks for co-sponsoring the event. The Elks made a pledge over 140 years ago that as long as there are Elks, the Benevolent and Protective Order of Elks will never forget them. Uh, you are honoring that pledge today. Keep up the good work. Uh, gentlemen, if you are not... Thank you. Will gentlemen please remove their hats and caps and recite with me the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you. Now I'm going to ask Cantor Penny Kessler from the United Jewish Center to lead us in the national anthem, and if you would please all join in.
to ask um, Father Greg Mecca, pastor at St. Peter's Church, to lead us in a blessing. Gracious God, on this day dedicated to the men and women who have served our country and humanity for the noble cause of freedom, justice, and good, we ask for your blessings upon them and upon our military and active combat. Grant that we may be sincerely grateful for their sacrifices and demonstrate our gratitude by properly serving them in their needs. For those soldiers abroad today, we pray for their protection against injury and death. Ease the pain of the wounded and disabled. Fortify those on the ground with strength, right judgment, and relief from the stress of combat. Finally, bring them home to their families safe and well. O God, who are yourself love and peace, make wars between us cease. Let your Holy Spirit burn from human hearts hatred, greed, violence, and all sin that endangers peace. Inspire national leaders worldwide to pursue that which makes for peace and mutual upbuilding. May the peace you desire for your children break forth and reign over us. Amen. little something for today and I think many of you out there will recognize parts of it because it was inspired by the soldiers creed and I call it the Patriots Creed. I am an American. I appreciate all veterans for being warriors and members of a team. I wouldn't be standing here if you didn't serve the people of the United States. I don't know how you always place the mission first. I can't imagine. I am grateful that you never accept defeat, and you never quit, and you never leave a fallen comrade. Veterans past and present are disciplined, physically and mentally tough, proficient in your tasks. I know you are experts and professionals. Although it scares me, I couldn't be more confident in knowing that you have been and are ready to deploy, engage, and destroy the enemies of the United States of America, only thinking of country first. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for being guardians of our freedom and the American way of life. Because of all of you, I am a very proud American. Now I would like to welcome Mayor Mark Boughton, who is a veteran himself. He served in the United States Army Reserve from 1983 to 1989. Welcome, Mayor. Thank you very much, Mayor. How about we give Mary Dyschultz a round of applause for putting on this wonderful program. This was... Uh, this was uh, her brainchild and her idea, and she, she took the idea and ran with it, and I applaud her initiative, and I applaud her caring and concern for all of our veterans, both past and present. A little known fact that you may not know is that Mary's son, Billy, will be entering service soon as a member of the National Guard, and he leaves for boot camp January. in January. So, Billy, I know you're out there. Give away. Let's give him a round of applause. And of course, to our Council of Veterans, we thank you each uh, time that you come to help celebrate and help us remember and help us keep and preserve uh, uh, our patriotism. You are wonderful individuals in our community. And of course, to our Fire Department and their Honor Guard, we thank them, led by Chief Harold, who's here as well. We thank all of them for their uh, compassion and concern. And certainly, uh, we also thank our elected officials that are here today. And in no particular order, we have members of our state legislature. We have Representative Jan Gigler that's here. And, Representative Joe Tabersack, and we welcome and thank them for being here. And we have our city clerk, Jean Natale, who's here, as well as members of the Common Council, Jack Knapp and Colleen Stanley, uh, Councilman McMahon and Shane Negersheth, as well as uh, other uh, Tom Soddy, who's also here as well. And so we thank and honor them for, for taking time out of their day to be here. And of course, a former mayor, I'm a little biased, my father, but Donald Bowden, who's here as well. Uh, to pay respects to our veterans. So uh, we thank all of them for taking time out this morning. Uh, this is an important day and it's an important time in our history. And so uh, it's important that we take a moment to reflect and to remember and to thank uh, those veterans that are in many ways leading the charge in the fight in the global war on terror, but also have led the fight uh, over the many years in many different conflicts. 
And we're blessed in Danbury that we have so many active people and so many active veterans that care for this great country. And if I leave you with one thought, it would be that in America and in the world, we're the most unique nation that exists. And the reason we're unique is because we fight not just for things that other countries fight for. Other countries fight for land acquisition or religious purposes or cultural wars. We don't fight for those things. We fight for ideals. We fight for things like democracy and freedom and justice and equality. That is unique. That is a special testament about what makes us all Americans. So on this day, when we spend time uh, marching and remembering, think about those ideals that make us the last best hope on earth. With this, I'm going to turn it over to my great friend, State Senator David Cappiello, uh, for some remarks. Thank you, and God bless America. Thank you very much, Mayor. If you can come on up here with me, I have something to present to you. Uh, before I do, I'd like to thank Mary and the Elks Lodge for putting this together. Uh, because there can never be enough days that we remember and honor our veterans. Uh, usually we come together on uh, Memorial Day, Veterans Day, uh, and, and we remind ourselves who fought for our country, who fought for our freedoms. Uh, but I think there are so many days in between that we seem to forget. And I am very, very honored, and I've said this to the veterans before, because I have never had to serve in the military. Uh, I have been very fortunate uh, to be brought, born and raised in the city of Danbury and had a good life. And I have a wife and two beautiful boys uh, who are being protected every single day by our men and women that are serving. And I get to serve in the state senate. The only battleground that I ever see is a debate on the floor of the senate where every two years at campaign season. Uh, so I am very, very fortunate. I am grateful, deeply, deeply grateful to the men and women that have given their lives and the men and women that have fought and risked their lives. Uh, but even more so, Two days ago, I was in Waterbury uh, for a 9-11 ceremony where I saw uh, a video about the 43 men and women that have lost their lives fighting in Iraq and Afghanistan. And I spoke before their families. Uh, it's easier to speak before the veterans themselves because they're here. They survived. They've lost their friends, they've lost their comrades, but they've survived. Speaking before a group of families who have lost their sons and daughters, brothers and sisters, grandchildren, uh, and mothers and fathers. Uh, it was heart-wrenching. Uh, and, and I want to also honor them and thank them because they have also given the ultimate sacrifice for our nation by giving up their loved ones. And in honor of all of them, I would like to present to the mayor of the city of Danbury a, an American flag that I had flown over the state capitol two days ago, September 11, 2008, in honor of all of our veterans, past and present, uh, that are defending us and giving us the, the freedoms uh, that we as Americans deserve. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Um, Congressman Chris Murphy isn't able to be here today, but he did send a representative who would like to um, read something that the congressman had sent. So, Stephanie. Uh, the Congressman asked me to read this letter. Uh, Dear friends, I apologize that I'm unable to, atten to attend today's Walk of Honor, but please be assured that my thoughts are with you as you gather to recognize our nation's veterans and current servicemen and women. Our nation was founded upon the bravery of men and women willing to selflessly fight for the rights of every citizen. From the battlefields of Europe to the deserts of Iraq and the mountains of Afghanistan, they have heeded the call of duty to protect and defend our homeland. The efforts of these courageous men and women are immeasurable and should forever humble and inspire us all. I applaud everyone here today for their efforts to honor those who serve our nation in the armed forces, not just on Veterans Day and Memorial Day, but every day. We owe a great debt to our veterans, and events like this make certain, make certain we never forget our responsibility to our nation's heroes. The prosperity and opportunity so many Americans take for granted would be nothing if not for the freedoms they help secure. Thank you again for allowing me the time to share a few words expressing my deep appreciation for the men and women who served us in uniform. Every best wish, Christopher S. Murphy.
guess now all that's left is to thank everyone. Um, thank you to City Center Danbury and the Danbury Elks Lodge for sponsoring the event, the Veterans Council and the Fire Department. Um, all the speakers up here who took time out of their day, Rita and Margaret Mitchell who are actually the catalysts of this, um, Rick Gottschalk who's photographing, John Newmuller who's also donating his time, and my husband Lee and my son Billy for um, putting up with me for the past three weeks and helping me out with everything. And Although we are unable to truly walk a mile in our veterans' shoes, let's all walk a mile in honor of their service to our great country. Um, God bless America and God bless every veteran and the fire department honor guard will lead us in our walk. Thank you all for being here. Thank you. 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 Thank you.